All right, so now we have a calculator question that actually requires a calculator, and it's also a little bit tricky. Uh, so we have uh, a polar curve. We have just the circle, which is just r equals 2. Uh, and we have this rose curve, right? Uh, and we want to find the sum of the gray areas uh, in here. The easiest way to do this, right, the easiest way to do this is to have the area of the full circle, which is just going to be pi r squared, so 4 pi, right? Uh, and then subtract whatever 3 times one of the petal areas is, right? Like I can find that one petal and I can subtract 3 of them. That's the easiest way to do this. There are other options, uh, but, but that is by far the easiest. So let's start by figuring out how to find the area of this petal. Well, the petal starts and ends at 0. So that's going to be when my radius of 2 cosine of 3 theta equals 0. So 0 equals 2 cosine of 3 theta. Cosine of 3 theta is 0. Well, we know that cosine is the x in the unit circle and that it's 0 uh, at all the pi over 2s, right? Well, the trick is that you see how this one is centered around 0? So the two values I'm going to want are pi over 2 and negative pi over 2 because those are the ones centered around 0. So 3 theta is going to be pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. Those are going to be my two bounds. The bounds I'm going to want for this first petal are going to be negative pi over 6 to pi over 6, right? Uh, and it is a calculator section, uh, so if, if it helped you, there are other bounds, right? But if it helps you, you could actually see that by, uh, you could go to mode, you could go to polar, and what you'll find is if I graph that, if you want to see that that's one petal, I could put in uh, 2 cosine of 3 theta, and I am in uh, radian mode already, right? And I could go to window, and I could actually start my window at negative pi over 6, and have it go to uh, pi over 6, right? If I wanted to do that, I could show that that would give me the first petal. And if I graph, uh, if you can't see it easily uh, because it's zoomed way out, but if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that that's only the first petal. So if I want to find the area of that one petal, I'll do 1 half the integral from negative pi over 6 to pi over 6 of 2 cosine of 3 theta quantity squared with respect to theta, right? Uh, and I can do that in my calculator right now. I already put that in as y1, so I might as well use it, or um, rather as r1, so I might as well use it. But you don't have to be in polar mode, right? You could have called this thing y1 and then integrated in function mode, right? I happen to be in polar mode, so I'll just use it, right? So math 9, vars over to y vars. I want polar, and I called this thing r1, squared with respect to theta from negative pi over 6 to pi over 6. Right, and there you have it. I'm going to get this value. Oh, my bad. I think I used a minus, not a negative. There you go. All right. So I get that this is a 1.047 blah, 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 blah. I don't really care because it's a multiple choice section. Anyway, I'm going to store that as A. So what I want, my answer is going to be 4 pi minus 3 times the thing I just called A. So 4 pi minus 3 times that area that I just stored as, sorry, hang on, as uh, A. All right, and there we have it, and that's my answer. It's D, right? So again, the easiest way to do it uh, was to find the area of one petal and recognize I'm subtracting three of those petals, which is how I got D.